includes warm sunshine, very little breeze, such that good parts of central England and the Welsh borders hit nearly 70 Fahrenheit, but there were large parts of the UK, Northern Ireland, a good part of Scotland, and also the Lake District where it was a miserable day. Not much wind, but a lot of cloud and drizzle. But the bits will be coldest tonight with those that were warmest by day. A touch of frost is possible on the sandy soils of southern England. Tomorrow dawns actually in a very similar way. There'll still be sunshine in the same areas. Rather more limited, I think. There's still a great deal more cloud around the western fringes of England and Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland. But it's going to be largely dry. We're still waiting for rain, which we will get. One thing you will notice, though, is a stronger wind. That strength of wind slowly develops over the next few days, but it'll be there for the east coast of England, bringing quite possibly persistent cloud from Lincolnshire northwards to the Scottish borders. Jump west over the hills, over the Pennines, and the Lake District should be much sunnier, as will be Lancashire during tomorrow. That also extends to Northern Ireland and southern Scotland, and a good part of Wales and the southwest of England. A few showers here might bring some useful rain, but they'll be pretty rare. They'll be drizzled in northern Scotland. The temperatures, much the same, will feel rather less so, because they'll be tempered by a breeze. Now, this wind is quite important for the next few days. It'll get stronger and stronger from the same direction. And given that we're taking away the sunshine and bringing in some rain, it's quite possible that Tuesday in particular will feel a pretty miserable day, more likely to be like autumn.